self-service. That's what I'm talking about. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching Weekly Kenya. Times Library. Who is here before the wind? Who speaks as an authority? Words, like many other actions, are vain and loud and stave off hearing. Even the trees try to reveal the truth. Still, all that's heard is murmuring. Move from side to side and stare at its trunk. Watch its leaves swivel, refracting summer life. Every image ever seen is a mosaic and archive. A window, a mirror. Times Library. What's up? What's up, people? We are out here. We are out here for real. And uh, I hope that you can hear me clearly because I have some things to say. That's right. First things first, essential water bottle, essential water, alkaline water. I'm down with the alkaline, I'm down with the alkaline. Second thing second, are these healthy? I'm trying to stay on keto snacks guys, I'm trying to keep it keto. You know how hard it is out here to keep it keto, so how are y'all doing it? Don't you hate it when the gate breaks at an apartment? Come on! It's not the best. It's not the best. I really think most of these apartments don't need gates, really. Gates broken half the time. Who are we fooling? Who are we fooling with this trend? of janky gates. It's always broken. People just drive through the gate. I don't know if it's the, the, the robbers or angry tenants. Angry Pizza Hut delivery drivers. Anger, angry DoorDash deliverers. Anyway. Catch you later. I know. I was only here for a second. I was just stopping by. I have to get back to my business. See ya. What's up, people? What's up? What's up, people? Um, yeah, so I'm really not going to be doing a lot more of these recording and driving videos. But it looks a lot more dangerous to y'all than it is to me, because I got 360 views. I can see, you know, the silver truck over here, you know, van approaching behind me, burgundy, you know what I mean? Phone's at a low level. So it seems dangerous from the camera level, because if you were driving, looking at, like, you know, it's dangerous. It's like being the passenger seat but worse anyway um i was thinking about um designing some graphics so one thing that i i realize i do a lot is i'll just be thinking you know i'll be like oh i could do this this and this but you know it's not always practical sometimes i'm not in the mood even though a lot of things are a lot easier than i'm I'm making them. I just realized I have the Canva app on my phone so i can bust out a couple of i make these graphics called crowdsource memories that i like I can't believe another, believe another app came in and then closed my app while I was recording the video. That's shameful. But, um, anyway. So I was thinking about making this one, and it was going to be about, you know, how our brains store information and, and um, how really everything that we ever think about or that we know is really just information about ourselves. Our brain isn't so much concerned with an external reality as it is concerned with what's going on with you. It wants you to be better, wants you to live, and it notices as you go through the world, certain information makes you better or worse. And so it stores that 
it is somewhat a record of what's going on in the world, but it's actually more of a record of your own benefit. That's why so many people are unconsciously selfish, because they're not balancing um, their, their brain's you know, ego and how it stores information. You don't know like most of the things that you think you know, but you know that it's right, quote unquote, right. You know, which re you just mean is good for you, which is not wrong, but it takes an extra scientific mind and emphasis to say yes. But now what is the the actual situation going on in reality? And you can only get there when you've taken care of yourself properly. See, a lot of people are doing the selfish thinking but they're being completely unselfish in the way that they're living. They're not. And it's to a detriment. When you're not fulfilling your own goals at all or doing these other things, your desire to take care of yourself um, now becomes... and but, but you're putting the information on the level that it's macro information. Anyway, you end up just being a jerk. I'm going to... I'm not going to draw out all the lines right now because I don't think it's necessary. That's why I like poems. Two sentences, you get what I'm saying. Go read the infographic when I drop it. It'll be two sentences long and it'll be more clear than this. Because it's that simple. I get it. But if it's going to be all about you right now, and that's where a lot of people are coming from. Um, protectionary thinking. If it's going to be all about you, can you make it all about you? You know, you paint that painting you want to make. Drop that album you want to drop. That way you can stop taking some of your angst out on us. You know? I mean everybody. On all angles. A lot of people out here need hobbies. A lot of people are hobbyless. Hobbyless people. And when you don't build hobbies and you have no method of graduating within your own life, you, you start to externalize these other things. That's when you start to live vicariously in a bunch of weird ways you wouldn't even think about. Which is why you can't enjoy other people's art. And why you can't enjoy conversations with your friends without, you know, competition. Which there should be, you know, competition. There should be pushing. There should be knowledge versus knowledge. But um, when you don't need a win out of it, you can get a win out of it. Anyway, no matter what you see, you see her. Just look right at the TV, believe it. Shipping out, oh, yep, shipping out a couple of the uh, packages. I can show you the back. I can't show you the front because it has addresses on them, but these thick packages right here, the two winners uh, so far who've won my sister's book that I've selected, I'm going to be shipping these out in a couple days. Um, I put brown letters on them because I also put one of my poems in there, and I also put... What else did I put in there? Um, I also put... Um, that's it. Oh, I also put one of my poetry books in there. So <laughs> I hope you get it before this. you watch this video so that you get the surprise of it. Yay! Um, what else went down? Oh, I have some art to send out. So I got some paintings I'm going to be sending out. Um... Yeah, so that's going to be good. So if you want those paintings, um, I don't know, stay tuned, social media. See you soon. Hey, oh, please, what I
Some that I'm developing that aren't even seen yet. Um, and one of those is going to be a skate company. And, you know, I'm not really announcing that because you, like, you, might, cause you might not care about skate at all. But um, it's just, a, it's kind of a, for you to think about. You know, like when you're, when you think about what you want to do as far as media stuff. I watch a lot of skate videos, and um, whenever you watch a lot of something that you like, you have the potential to, you could write articles about it, especially right now. I know you're thinking, oh, are articles that big of a deal? Am I going to get $100 an article? Probably never. But definitely you can. Definitely you can. Like uh, I've, I'm sure I have in the past, like years ago, you know what I mean? And um, so on some new stuff, yeah, like, uh, it's important to inhabit your own interests. Because that might not be the bulk of the money you make, but it's nice. But if you're already involved in it, why shouldn't it be a revenue stream? And I think the reason people don't do that is because when they try to do it, they usually ruin a bunch of stuff for themselves because of how they do it. And it's like, well, don't do that. But... Don't, don't make it too serious that you're ruining it. As soon as you're ruining it, stop. But if you have any en extra energy where you can write a blog post, set something up, just don't get addicted to getting to not being yourself. You are cool. But you, and, and change is fun. That's part of the experience of you. But don't always be addicted to who you might become or who you might be if something works out for you. Like It's, a, it's not how things are supposed to work. Anyway, and I'm, I'm saying this for me, future Kenyo. All these weekly Kenyos are just messages for me, so I can watch them back and be like, yo, here's a message from past Kenyo, something he learned on his road. It's good for you. All right. Peace. To call my own. I wish I knew that I didn't have to run. It's a money job. It's a money job. Yeah. These look like new gas pumps. It's a money this job. New They're probably in construction. It's a money I can put some right here. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Should I even turn on the camera? There's nothing going on, but I'm like, bro, either you're gonna vlog or you're not gonna vlog. But what you, but what you're not gonna do is when I'm trying to vlog, stop me from vlogging. And this is all internal dialogue, which, um, 
that's how my brain works. People act like talking to yourself is weird, and I'm like, what do you what do you call thinking? You don't think? Thinking is talking to yourself. Just because if you I verbalize what I'm thinking, I don't see how that's weird. Even if you do multiple different like voices, I don't even think that would be weird. Like if you had like a three way conversation, it'd be unorganized. I don't know, it'd be kind of inefficient. But I'll I'll do it sometimes for comedic reasons. I'd be like, be like, hey Dave, I'd be like what, bro? Cut it out, man. Hey guys, what's what, what are you arguing about? See, that's three different people. I mean, I'm crazy. It's not useful for like solving, you know, math problems or anything like that. That would be cool if they had different knowledge. And I was like, hey, Dave, what is, how do you do quantum computing? And he was like, ah, well, you see, quantum computing is just the quantum of computing. <laughs> and I'd be like, whoa, it's pretty cool of you, man. You know some cool stuff, Dave. But no, it doesn't work like that. Does not work like that, broskies. By the one who drives like this, just drive like this, put a knee up, put a knee up like that. No, it's just me. Just the Kinster. The Kinster Vinster. The Kinster. No, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere at all. Where am I going? That's a real question. This truck in front of me has a sticker on it that says Global Restoration Services. I feel like that's kind of an audacious claim. Global Restoration Services? You restore the earth? Why do we even have global warming? I just call you guys. There's no phone number either. It's just a truck. So you have to talk to them in the truck. Last body armor bottle. Every day it's all on me. That's how I want it to be. Sleeping, wake up late. See what I put on the play. I know you got some things you need to untangle, bring to the light. I'll be here right by your side. Uh, Kenya Poetry Live Water It's called KPL Water Um Yeah, just wanted to drop you know, Drop, 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 drop Recorded it yesterday That's gonna be the new podcast where I infuse Poetry and news Woo, I think I'll probably end up Doing it once a week, I said I was gonna do it Three times a week, but I mean four times a week, but it doesn't make sense. I got lots of stuff. I'm probably be doing something different every week. Right now, I'm thinking I might do like a weekly Kenyo on Tuesdays, a KPL on Wednesdays. Or I, when did I put weekly Kenyo? I think I actually did it on. No, I did it on Tuesday. And then um, maybe an influencer hour on Thursdays, Kenyo live on Fridays. Um. And then maybe one on Saturdays. Who knows? Might not be anything like that. I might just be dropping stuff all throughout the week. I like just dropping stuff, honestly, because I have so many different videos. Um, and some people, you know, they watch on random days. And um, it's always fun to, you know, get more views than you got the day before. So that's what I like to do. Anyway talk to you guys in a bit check, check out my podcast go to my website www.kenyo.org and check out the website also you can find all the weekly kenyos even the ones before the new ones you can find the old weekly kenyos from 2016 um, on the time machine page go to it's a hashtag time machine page click it there you find the weekly kenyos the brown letters everything under the time machine project all right see y'all 
the network network in those portions of town where a student can use their logon and the password to access the school network. And, and that's what we're going to be working on. And I'll, I'll say that we'll be working closely with those school districts and those prioritized areas and, and really engaging AT&T and Spectrum and maybe other providers to see how they can help. But but I think we've got a backbone there. And I, I, you know, I, I think they got to hit me up. They got to. And, uh, and, and it's, it's the reason why it's one of the, the major efforts of this plan. Mayor Ron Nuremberg, the plan also talks about watching the spread of COVID-19. That, that's the homie Ron? See, I didn't even know that. Ron, you, you, you should have been known that you could hit me up for this. In the wrong direction. Yeah, we are. Uh, you know, but a word of caution when we look at any one particular uh, part. Oh, no, see, that's Ron. I know Ron's voice. Come on, yeah. Results uh, that come in daily uh, ebb and flow in some in some ways because of uh, the backlogs that are created just by the volume of testing that's occurring in our community and across Texas. So it's hard to gauge how we're doing. Discussions are actually going so well. I want to add to them. I want to add to them. What's today? Wednesday? I want to add. More about not just emotional intelligence, but also about recognizing and regulating their own emotional response. But I don't think that training is anywhere near as universal or as deep as it needs to be. Police stress wearing the tinted glasses. I think there's a lot to be said for drawing officers' attention to that, for teaching them about implicit bias. But what we don't have right now is a robust body of evidence that tells us that implicit bias... I say you don't know you wearing the wrote the glasses. You know you wearing the glasses. Or changes officers I know I got glasses on. There's even a little bit of I see an Asian person. I'm thinking Asian stuff. Implicit bias training can reinforce implicit yeah. bias. The good news is we do know, at least we have... And so what if black people in America, which bias, my parents are not from America, so what if black people in America are involved more in crime? Wouldn't you expect them to be involved more in crime? You're criminalizing non-criminal crime. You're the ones who put them into ghettos, made the laws. If you can't afford bread, you steal bread. It's my Dave Chappelle impression. But also just facts. Facts. Everyone's pretending like they don't know how racism happened. You! They don't know how this happened, that happened. You, you, you! Your dollars. Your votes. Also, I'm sure at the time racism was... Actually, racism was never necessary. But wasn't always relatively problematic compared to everything else that was going on. You know, we're in a peaceful time. That's why we, we can have these kinds of thoughts. Well, let's have them while we can. Instead of losing the peace, let's maintain it by talking about what might threaten it. I have to say, I am immensely impressed with the work of the protesters. I mean, I can't really say that. Not that I'm not impressed, but it, there wasn't intentional work done. If anything, all I can say is when things happen, there are reactions. And those closest to it will feel it the most and they'll react. How they feel, they need to react. But nobody's doing it, well, some people are doing it, but uh, by and large, people do not react in mass for something that's not a problem. 
Why? Because everyone wants to put a dollar in the vending machine and the Snickers bar comes out. You don't want to be smashing the vending machine. Being like, you don't, that's not the first resort. You try the dollar. And if it gives you the dollar back, then you don't even shake the machine. You're like, okay, I put the dollar in. I can't get a, I can't get a candy bar. That's fine. You don't, I, I don't need it. It's okay. I'm gone. But if I put my dollar in, so I'm, I'm paying my, my tax. And you're going to try to keep the tax and not give me the thing. You're not going to, you're going to keep the dollar and not give me the Snickers. No way. No way, Jose. Give me my Snickers. I don't care if I gotta crack this thing open. And when I do crack it open, I'm taking more than just my Snickers bar. I'm taking all the Snickers bars. I wouldn't do that. I would just, I wouldn't even hit the machine. Depending on my day. I mean, I'll hit the machine for sure. I'm a machine hitter. You gotta, because I can do a guided hit, you know, like a kung fu hit. I see the arrangement of everything and I see what's going on and then I strike. I strike the exact location necessary for the Snickers bar to fall out. Anyway. $20. I'm asking you, is that what a, is that what a black man is worth? $20? This is 2020. Enough is enough. NPR congressional reporter Claudia Grisales was following that hearing. She is here with us now. Hey, Claudia. Hi, Mary Louise. You know, you have watched so many congressional hearings unfold. It sounds like today's... Lots of stuff going on, you guys. Talk about the testimony and how members responded. Lots of stuff. it was indeed. We heard from Filonis as we heard from the top there. When you show up on the scene, are you carrying any of the paraphernalia that a police officer would have? Do you have a uniform, handcuffs, a weapon? So we are a lot more casual in appearance. Interesting uh, ideas. Interesting I ideas. I carry my ideas. Interesting and my ideas. And the knowledge of our local resources. And how anyway, really let's turn off the radio for a second. You know what I'm thinking about? You know what I'm thinking about? The next few years are going to be interesting. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Probably not supposed to mention it. How could I survive it? Never mention it. Every day I see dimensions. Moving through time. I'm cruising through time. I wonder what you think. I wonder what you see. When you're looking at me. And you're smiling Can you feel Who I really am Do you have a plan for me To dominate this land I can see you just Wishing I would just Sit in the back of the bus Always wondering What I could have been How I should have been After listening to all the advice you give Be yourself, free yourself, heal yourself Not trying to lose myself Not trying to lose myself Be yourself, free yourself, heal yourself Not trying to lose myself Not trying to lose myself Be yourself, heal myself just let me know Can't go back in the cage That was yesterday I already escaped I'm gonna rest today Probably now Supposed to mention this But I've been leaping walls and Climbing fences with him Immigration kids Trying to find their minds Finally find it A new horizon You can find me in Mexico You can follow me, let's just go I hope in their officers' minds I think that they should Anyway So they're talking about some stuff I'm talking about some stuff You know, I was thinking a lot about um, Science, I guess Different kinds of science 
signs, you know. <laughs> That's not a way to start a video, but I was thinking about some of that stuff. I was thinking about signs and art. Um, I have a new infographic that I want to release. I wrote a poem. I do want to have a poem I want to release. Ladies and gentlemen, my radio morning shows so annoying. I'm talking about like entertaining radio. I haven't listened to like a local radio station in a while, um, for many reasons. But um, I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot today. I was like, you know what? I want to hear. I want to hear the new songs, which I could have just gone on Billboard and then gone on YouTube, as I would normally do. But I said, let me hear it right from the source, the way the people are hearing it, you know. And, um, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Not only, not only am I not interested, actually, I am interested, that's a lie. But it's like, the energy of it, it like hurts the brain, like, I feel uncomfortable right now, like, I feel like I've, I feel like I, I don't know, like I just made a bad friend and I had to push them out of my life or something like that, and that didn't happen, that's what it felt like, like, my brain is still a little fuzzy, I'm, like, thinking about a bunch of stuff, moral things, human things, I'm like, that's, that's not how I'm gonna be starting my day anymore. Now I'm, I'm not turning on the radio until at least 3 p.m. Because I need to build up some mental defenses. Uh, which I could listen to one of my favorite playlists. I could listen to a podcast. Uh, what else could I do? I don't really like talking on the phone much, too, in the morning, either. It's like I, don't, I, want, I want my brain just to be chocked full of positivity in a certain way, you know what I mean, and, um, anyway, so, yeah, even Gary Vee, I was, I listen to Gary Vee every now and then, but, you know, in the morning sometimes, it's not right, I think sometimes you can listen to Gary Vee and it gets you too much into the idea of hustle, depending on who you are, you know what I mean, but it's perfect, you know, like, right around noon, you know, 11, when I need that scooch, and I need some new ideas, because I'm all out of my ideas, and, then it's perfect, but, um, anyway, I'll think about it. Yo, I was thinking, I was thinking about this one video I made. I didn't interview, well, I didn't make the video, but I did an interview with, uh, Jane Terrazas for her YouTube Facebook channel, Rise Above TV, and, um, one thing I said in it, you know, I was like, you know, I feel like I'm finished. I feel like I'm done, and, um, I knew how I felt. And now I know more of what I really meant, which is, I think your ego takes a little bit of time to develop, you know, like, uh, and, and, it, and it takes through your 20s for you to develop, not, I'm not talking about like your ego, like, oh, I think I'm the greatest, but like your understanding of yourself, when people say, I'm going to find myself, um, I think that's what they mean, you know, it takes a little bit of time, you create different works, and, and they give you feedback, and feedback gives you feedback, and emotions give you feedback and uh, you have to move according to those things you have to keep you know trying different things. it's not really that serious but you know that's part of what allows us to become who we are you know whatever that means um, for the situation and the times that we live in and uh, yeah what I really meant in that video I think I was 28 maybe 29 I, I'm done I'm done like I can't have a better understanding of like who I want to be I'm not saying I'm a hundred percent that person but I am actually um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of my life and and being able to alternate my skills and do different things and and become um, better at using my skills to help society but that's different I think I think that's different I think that's learning about people um, you know, and so it's like, I, I think, I think after you figure out, and you don't have to wait till you figure out yourself to try some of this stuff, but if for whatever reason, I think I was frankly self-absorbed, um, because 
I had questions of my identity caused me to be so inward. Not too bad. I actually think I did a pretty good job of involving myself with groups and, and giving of my time. One thing my mom always taught myself is like, as a man, you should never be in a room and there's something to do and you're not doing it. If there's chairs to be put up, if there's whatever. And so that's always been my mentality. Um, in life and relationships is how I deal with people. I'm like, yo, let me, what can I, like, like I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be around here and not add my stuff to the stuff and make things better for you or for myself or whatever. So, um, yeah, anyway, I just thought about that idea. You know, it, it, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. Anyway, just thought about it. What up? You know, I was thinking about something. My dad used to, he used to always say this thing when we were driving around, like, um, if I'd ask him for something or like, you know, or like if we were going to go somewhere or anything like that or if I wanted to go somewhere or something, I don't know. But uh, he would always say, by the grace of God. And, and uh, as a kid, I was, I was like, you know, that's, that's, that's a good way to dismiss, you know, what I'm thinking about or what I'm trying to say. I thought, I almost thought it was just, I almost thought it meant the same thing as maybe. Truthfully, I thought when he said that, it meant the same thing as me. I'm trying to get some lotion. I know it looks weird. I'm like, what is he doing? Is he injecting himself? No trying to get some lotion on my hand. Um, but um, you also used to say, by the grace of God. And, um, you know, I feel like I, you know, as a kid, you don't get it. But now I get it, you know. When when you're when you're moving through and you're, and you have the kind of DNA that me and my dad have, where, like, you always have visions. So, you know, vision is an interesting thing. Like, when, when you have vision and you have... And you see the way in which things are wrong and a potential way in which you could change them, you know, and you dedicate your life to it, you know, you're always bustling. I, one thing I can say that he did, you know, I mean, he had three, four, was four, four kids, you know. And when you have vision and four kids, I mean, of course, you still have to do all the things to make money, but they did a lot of cool stuff. You know, my dad ran a restaurant, ran a... Um, had a printing, um, comp like a like a Kinkos. He had a, basically, you know, on Telegraph Street in Berkeley. You know, they had a seafood restaurant. My parents weren't playing around. And my dad's always been driven by, you know, his own inner potential and a combination of the things that's going wrong around him in the world. And you know, I think sometimes people think, oh man, it looks like it's hard to have a vision. It's hard to be trusting everything to. To, to hope that everything's going to work out by the grace of God. Of course, you still have to apply, you know, crazy quantities of hard work. But honestly, having vision um, is one of the greatest gifts of, a, of all time. Because when you have vision, vision, you know, and you have, you, you have ways in which you think things can work out, you feel like you're eating five course meals every day. You know, I think it's one of the greatest gifts God can give um, is to um, is to give people vision. You know, to to like it's it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing to wake up and 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 be holding purpose in your hand. You know what I mean? Like so. Just a little thought I had. Okay. Y y'all need to completely stop trying to win Grammys. Completely stop trying to win Oscars. Why would you try so hard to go to a party that you're not invited to? You need someone else to tell you your music's good? You know what I mean? And culturally, I mean, okay, America is a majority, you know, white. And even if that wasn't the case, the Grammys is definitely a majority white, which isn't a problem. It's just their thing. There's the BET Awards. You should be trying to get a beat if you're black. If you are traditionally black to where you fit into the majority of black culture, which I do not, um, unfortunately, you know. But um, if you were, if you were, and not ever, not all... Um, you know, multi-generation black people fit into that culture either, but if that's your culture, get into that, and if that's not yours, I don't, you know, if, if you're different, if you're, uh, um, 
a nerdy punk rocker black person, you know what I mean? There might not be an award show for your for your demographic yet that is relevant to your success. Stop trying to get into other people's stuff and build your own. If it's not there, build it so that the next nerdy black punk rocker dude can have his stuff. It's my opinions. It's my opinions. The girl just drove by, looked at me. She was like, "Yeah, that, that's real, my dude. That's real. That's it. God bless." What is up, people? About to ship some packages. Who's that over there? K Pre's. I got the face mask on. So I don't even have my face mask on. Oh, okay. So this one is actually for deliveries. The one that's oh, actually for shipping is like six minutes away. Okay. There's one over there near medical too. There's a few. Throw this away. Uh, find the trash can. Uh, so continue to move. And I want to really dive into this idea of intelligent alternatives, and as far as um, the evolution of time. Now, the reason why I bring up the Evolution of Times podcast, which was just listening to, is my first time listening to this particular podcast. And the one thing about time is that everything, for the most part, has a type of time stamp. And the stamp is... And that's, that's, that's the story of my life right there, you guys. If you want to know the story of Kenyo... <laughs> I could have done whatever I wanted, but I was like, you know what? I'm not taking the easy road. <laughs> the easy road's too easy, actually, at this point. I was blessed to be smart. I'm super handsome. Top 10 most handsome people in America, as voted by myself. But yeah, you know, it's very interesting because. Um, he ends up, you know, being completely broke, you know, trying to find the Buddha. Didn't I say it was a story? <laughs> of, can you? I used to call myself Buddha in high school, actually, for a yeah, brief we moment. Formed that but, club, but then in I was Japan. like, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, this is all right. Well, say something else about Sidar. Let's see. And so, um, and so he was. A, he met this, you know, woman in this particular town. Boom! I met a woman in the town as well. He. The town, he had skills that no one else in the town had. He can read and write, you know, and he poet. can recite poetry. Oh, my gosh. All right, that's <laughs> it. That's it. I got to go ship these packages. Uh, and then we're going to go work <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's super good. Oh, I can't be showing people's addresses. I'm going to have to blur that in the video. Dropping off these packages. Mr. Composition is also shipping some packages. Yes, I am. Got my face. Uh, all right. Let me get up in here. Self-service, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, no. What, what's up, you guys? I just saw the Dave Chappelle special. I don't, he, just, he secretly dropped it somehow. He dropped <laughs> it in secret. But K Preezy told me about it. Just watched it. Um, I'm glad I didn't say too much about all the protests and riots stuff because he said it perfectly. Anything that I have to say, he's a genius. He's a genius right now and he's in his element. 
you know, that's what makes him a genius. And he's, he's killing it. Very articulate with the intelligence. Um, and he, and you know, he, he talked about all the, the hard stuff in, in really great context. Even better than I could have. That's why I'm glad I didn't say anything. Because I could have said some stuff, but I would mostly be talking, you know, about like myself. Because I don't, you know, I'm like I'm different. So it's just like, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be that useful. But he kind of really summed up the truth of it from somebody who, you know, him, he talked about how his great grandfather was born a slave. So, I mean, he, his connection to it and his, him growing up in Ohio, like, he's, he's right there to see it perfectly, which is probably what makes him such a good comedian in general, you know, for America. Uh, I like it. I, I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. As far as anything, if you wanted to hear some reaction to the media chaos that's going on right now, around everything, around everything, then that's a good way of getting an acute perspective. And he's hilarious, so... So anyway, yeah, that's that's all I that's all I came here to say. Um, chilling, villainously, villainously. <laughs> oh, dang! Oh, almost crashed. Almost, almost crashed. I'm gonna drive with both hands. Oh, both hands. I'm driving with both hands. I'm using one hand to hold it. What's what's holding the car? Oh, nothing's holding it. No, I'm obviously. <laughs> I'm obviously not driving. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, um, let me just shoot it straight with you guys. Um, I'm at my wits. My wits end. <clears throat> In other news, I just dropped a song called uh, um, Be Yourself. And still. Dope. It's really good at high volumes. Probably not great for the ears because it has lots of, you know, sort of unbalanced sounds. You know, some people would say it could be mixed better. Poppycock! Why would I want to mix out all the uniqueness? I do believe in mixing and mastering, but only to increase dramatic effect, not to reduce it. Um... I think all those weird noises make give it a film-like quality. If you ask me. If you ask me, I want to know what's going on in the room at the time. I wish, I wish, I wish my favorite artist had never mixed and mastered. Man, those tracks would be icy. Icy. Unmastered Radiohead, come on. Actually, that would be really cool. If artists started dropping unmastered versions, and this shirt is causing me a lot of trouble. Thanks, Stephen Lucky. Make America Great Again. Because people don't have time to read the thing. So it's just like, I don't know. I'm getting like hate and love at all these weird angles that I'm not able to understand. So anyway. Uh, bye. Keep on watching. The clock moves 10 years at a time. It's going up. Keep on watching. When you listen to my, listen to my music, when you listen to my music, you gotta adjust the dials, okay? This isn't that lazy kind of music where you can just turn it on and boom, it's ready to go. No! <laughs> it's not the kind of music I make. You gotta twist the dials, get it right. Sometimes it needs to be all the way up. Sometimes you'll notice that's not a good idea. Twist the dials. Hit, hit the dials a couple times. You know, so some someone once called me a user. They're like, you know, you are a user. You just use people. They didn't say it that then, but basically. And um, I thought, I've always thought about it, and I was like, you know, what? I mean, wouldn't you want to be used? Would you rather be useless? And I understand, like, malicious using or something like that, but no, I don't think I'm a user. I, I love to employ people's abilities around me. I don't think that's using. I don't think there's anyone who could say to me that, like, oh, I, I, after dealing with Kenyo, I was worse off. 
I can't think of it. I can't think of anyone. Why would anyone say that? There might be like two people, but I already know who they are, and I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back for those exact people. Like, I, I keep tallies intentionally in all of my relationships in order to make sure that I'm adding more than I'm taking. Other people do not do that. Those people are users. Not really, though. I mean... You know, like people are, some people are just going through something or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't even think that deep into it, but I, I'm an employer. That's what I am. I'm an employer of labor. And, um, I think the tally's always balanced. Either I match or I, or, or I match plus. So, take it back. Doing some grocery shopping. These are grits. That's alkaline. You want those or you want the Just a little bit of that. I love it when I love it when that sticker's on it. When that sticker's on it, you know good things are happening. Um let's see. What do you guys think? Tortillas? Or what? You don't want to be in it? Okay. Alright, uh, tortillas are which ones? It's the same thing. This is a strip. I like the strips, but it's not as uh, authentic. Kevin, grab the, one of those. I'd rather the white before I would do it. This is 194. This is 275. Oh. It's fine. Shows are awesome. Same one twice. Getting... Check that out. Or these? You guys know about this? Know about that life? Or I was almost thinking we could go since it's Saturday. Salmon? No, we're not doing salmon. We could go salmon, jalapenos. These are a real hack. I think. Let's yeah. Let's stick with the. Okay, let's go with these two. I think that's a good get. It's a good get. None of these are keto friendly. Well, this is keto friendly, but not what we're looking for.